Hey Majestics, I'm here to do a movie review about Aladdin. Yes, so let's get into it. Pretty much, I actually like the movie. Why? Because it didn't like der- derail much from the cartoon version. Like it was pretty much similar to the cartoon version like it was just like the live version of it you know and I like that I like that it didn't take um a classic too far away from a classic like I I I like that I liked you know that they stuck to the same storyline you know pretty much the same characters and all of that so that was really um you know they added a couple more for you know dramatics and things like that but like majority of it was the no not even major the bulk of it was exactly like how the cartoon was which I liked. So, um, I would say that with Will, I was surprised that Will Smith was singing in the movie. Like, I was like, is that him? Is that him? Like, th- that's his real vocals. Like, he for real singing. Like, okay, Will. Like, okay. I hear that little harmonizing. I hear you not sounding flat. Like, I was there. Like, I was actually like, yes, to Will. Like, it was, I was actually really, really surprised because he sounded good, you know. And I know he do the little live YouTube video sometimes that he be singing or of his vlogs and he be singing and stuff. But like, I didn't actually think that he was going for real be singing in the movie, but he was. And so I do, I really, I really liked him in the movie i really liked him being in a musical like i don't think i've ever seen him actually in a musical except for well no most of the time he'd be rapping like he don't do a lot of singing in movies so that was actually cool to see him in that type of role you know um now him as janie he did justice to janie he did he he stuck to the charismatic janie but I still love Robin Williams as Jeannie. Like, to me, Robin Williams is was an awesome actor. Like, every role he ever played in, honestly, I feel like he did awesome. Like, it was like he always brought himself to it, and then he gave you more. Like, always. And that, to me, I, the voices and the the dramatics like how he was over dramatic about everything but it was so fun and it was just seemed so genuine like it seemed like that was genuinely him you know and so uh I do feel like Will did give justice to Jeannie like he did he he played the role as himself you know but I still love Robin Williams you know so but 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 I did love Will as Jeannie too so i did i i i i did now there were (laughs) some things about the movie that i was kind of just like um so like it was like some close-ups of genie that you could look and tell that it was like it was fake you know like that but we all know it's fake anyway right like we already know that but like you could like it was like some graphics and some designs like of like the close up and stuff. Sometimes you could like see like ooh, that yeah, that's just real fake. Like there's real fake. But we already know it's fake, right? We already know. I'm sure the little kids know too. They gotta know. Like the kids watching movie, y'all gotta know it's fake. Maybe, maybe not. Like maybe I think I think they should. Um. So. Now, I don't really think they needed to do this live version, though. Like, honestly, I don't really think they... they, I I don't really think that it was needed. Like, it wasn't necessary to actually do a live version of Aladdin. Like, I don't think it was a necessary thing that they needed to record. But it was good to watch, you know? Because to me, like I said, it was pretty much along the lines of the movie you know except for a couple of scenes that they added here and there and a couple of songs that weren't necessarily in the movie um in the cartoon movie the cartoon version but 
other than that i don't think they necessarily needed to do that but um i guess they felt like maybe it was time to like because you know they're doing a lot more of the old cartoon movies they're bringing them to like live versions and i guess it's not even a live i guess it's called a live version a human version <laughs> i don't know i don't know what the, i don't know the correct term for it like but i'm just saying live version even though it's not like live as in we're watching it in real time but i don't know what else it would be called cartoon version and human version mortal version and immortal like i don't know either way i don't think it was necessarily needed but they're doing a lot more of the old school the you know 90s cartoons and all of that they're making them into versions of real people with real bodies <laughs> i don't know how to describe it anyways so that's like you know kind of my thing so i would based on the bulk of what i said though i think that it was a really good movie and i would give it an eight out of a 10 like because they didn't derive from it like derail from the original version um the cartoon version it was much like it and so that to me was really good. like i like seeing movies that don't take away from how it was originally done and so that is why i give it an eight out of ten i do think it is something that you could probably go see with your family um it'll be it's a really good nice you know nice i think i don't even think it was two hours was it two hours i think it might have been two hours so it was a cool two hours to you know sit through um there weren't any parts in the movie where you'd be like oh you know you just like get lost or whatever now granted i knew the storyline so i already knew what was gonna happen i knew everything that was gonna happen and pretty much happened the exact same way that i thought it was gonna happen minus a couple of scenes that was kind of cool to see you know um oh i forget to add like they had some dancing scenes in there the dancing was cool like it was cool again no spoilers i'm just saying the dancing was cool i ain't telling y'all nothing else but it was cool like it was it was cool to see um but it was really a movie and i think that you you know if you took your family to see it or if you as an adult wanted to go see it because you want to relive your childhood then i'm with you like do that i went by myself <laughs> and i saw it you know um so if you a 30 something person and you want to go by yourself 40 something 50 something whatever and you want to go see aladdin by yourself and relive your childhood and sing all the songs and all of that do you like do you and enjoy yourself because you will because it's like i said it's it stays pretty much along the storyline so i think you know it's a good it's a good movie to see so yeah so y'all let me know down in the comments how y'all liked it what y'all thought about it like you know how y'all felt about the movie um and i'll talk to y'all next time bye majestics